Hello everyone, uh, this is Professor Edson. Uh, I'm an associate professor of the State University of Maringá, southern Brazil. I'm going to talk about uh, the feasibility analysis of smart modeling for modeling UML-based software product lines. This is a partial result of one of my master's students, Leandro, also from the State University of Maringá with the cooperation of Professor Avelino from uh, PUC-RS. This is the agenda. I'm going to start with a brief introduction on the subject. Then I'm going to talk about smart modeling environment, which we built in the last couple of years. Uh, then how we analyze its feasibility by means of a qualitative study and a form of experiment. I'll discuss the main results, improvements, for the environment, the tool, and some conclusions. So as you may know, software product line uh, is a very good approach for reuse of software, and it represents a set of similar systems with vulnerabilities for a given domain or a specific market segment. So one of major SPL challenges is the still vulnerability management in terms of identification, modeling, and resolution of vulnerabilities, especially during uh, the derivation of SPL-specific products. So to do this, we hardly need automated support uh, for SPLs. So companies have increasingly required to support for SPLs due to this uh, huge problem of having uh, lots of vulnerabilities identified and represented and uh, it's not a trivial activity to um, manage all these vulnerabilities um, across very uh, very large uh, set of core assets of SPL. So uh, we try to uh, search for secondary studies and surveys uh, which present to support for UML based SPLs uh, and as a, as, a, as a main result, uh, we haven't found any UML tool specific for SPLs. Uh, the major or the majority of tools are focused on the space problem, sorry, on the problem space for modeling features. And features are the main uh, assets from this kind of uh, uh, SPL. So uh, we try to provide a solutions-based uh, automation to support UML-based SPL. Uh, we developed uh, the smart modeling environment. This environment was built as an instance of the VM Tools RA reference architecture, uh, which is um, represented in this figure with the general architecture. Uh, here in the general architecture, architecture of VM tools, we have the vulnerability management package, we have vulnerability decision, vulnerability evolution, vulnerability validation, domain analysis, uh, the middleware to provide communication between uh, this package and the package uh, responsible for domain analysis tools and requirements management tools. And we also have a package for organizational management and support for versioning, importing, exporting, and persistency of uh, models. Well, uh, we, once we have, we have built this environment, we, we had a, a need to analyze its feasibility and we did that uh, with two studies. One of them was a qualitative study in which we adopted the TAM, the Technology Acceptance Model, uh, to measure perceived ease of use, perceived usefulness, and perceived future use. So the results of this uh, qualitative study motivated us to a formal experiment. So we planned and conducted an, uh, an experiment comparing efficiency and effectiveness of smart modeling uh, against ASTA tool. Why ASTA tool? Why we chose ASTA tool? Because it's heavily used in software modeling teaching. 
the smart modeling environment uh, provides support to management of variability models and composition rules uh, based on variability models, management of variability resolution, consistency checking, documentation of the process, classification of assets and management of life cycle uh, with the domain assets management and key steps to use the tool based on a guide and modules for reading and writing projects mainly based on import and export functionalities. Uh, smart modeling user interface uh, consists of several panels. Uh, we have here the, the operations panel, the component A in this figure. So we can see here in the top right, sorry, top left part of the figure. So we have here buttons and buttons panel component B. So the component B is here. It's um, it's uh, buttons for active or deactive elements for a specific diagram. We have the project panel here in the C part of the, the the main interface of smart modeling. Here we have the name of the project. Here we have uh, an use case diagram name, and we have all the elements, actors, and use cases. Here we have the representation of a variability in this diagram. And we also have uh, the component D where we can draw diagrams here in this part of the center of the user interface of smart modeling. And last but not least, we have information panel, which is component E here in the top, here in the bottom left part uh, where we can visualize properties, elements for specific uh, diagram elements. For example, in this diagram, we have selected play selected game use case, and it has a stereotype of variation point. So this stereotype has been shown here uh, in variation point, and we can um, include new stereotypes for each of these elements. So the main goal of our qualitative study is to perceive the casual relationship between external variables of user acceptance uh, of the smart modeling. So uh, for this user acceptance, uh, we chose the technology acceptance model, TAM, and we invited 10 SPL experts with at least one year of experience in SPL to answer questions related to ease of use, usefulness, and future use. So uh, this questionnaire is composed of uh, several open questions and uh, several uh, subset of Likert scale questions like I strongly agree, I agree, neither agree or nor disagree, I disagree, I strongly disagree. Well, the results of the qualitative studies uh, are related to easy of use. We had most of the majority of the responses related to uh, the agree and strongly agree uh, for many uh, questions. Um, for example, uh, respondents say that the graphical interface for modeling was intuitive and easy to handle. The environment allows modeling according to the concepts defined by UML in a clear way. The environment allows modeling according to the SPL concepts and smart approach in an intuitive way. Regarding usefulness or utility, uh, users are, sorry, uh, uh, participants were able to perform the modeling using the smart modeling interface the way uh, they expected. So most of them agree or strongly agreed. Uh, they were able to explore the functionality of saving and opening diagrams, keeping the information in the diagrams in its entirety. Uh, this, uh, uh, this we had um, four answers strongly agreeing and three answers uh, agreeing. Uh, two answers disagreeing and one answer strongly disagreeing. 
So this is a most concerning question for us. With relation to future use, uh, we have ma we had majority of agree and strongly agree for uh, two important questions. Uh, users uh, consider using uh, smart modeling in the future, and considering the experiencing experience user using smart modeling uh, to recommend it to others uh, researchers. So uh, about the results, what we can uh, summarize is that the analysis of open uh, responses was performed using open and axial coding as grounded theory procedures. So uh, we, based, we based our anal analyze, uh, our, our anal analysis um, on the open questions uh, using open and axial codes positive aspects with the results is the application of SPL concepts, intuitive interface and ease of use of smart modeling, and points to improve the graphical interface, feature modeling, and export import information. Um, so, the, so with the results of the qualitative study, uh, we design a, a, an experiment. Uh, with the goal of compare an SPL modeling tool, in this case smart modeling, and a general UML to ASTA. Uh, the purpose of modeling of SPLs and variability with respect to effectiveness and efficiency from the point of view of researchers on SPL. So uh, for this experiment, uh, we chose ASTA as it's one of the most used UML general tool, and because there is no uh, specific specific tool to model UML uh, based SPLs. Uh, in this experiment, we define two research questions. Uh, research question one: Which tool is more efficient in modeling US in modeling SPL use case diagrams according to Smart Modeling or ASTA? And which tool is more effective in modeling SPL use case diagrams using smart modeling and ASTA? Uh, we adopted the Arcade Game Maker SPL, so we used the use case diagram of this uh, SPL, and we used this smart to represent variability as we are experienced with it. Uh, based on these research questions, uh, we defined it or we formulated the following hypothesis. Uh, the new hypothesis is there is no difference in effectiveness or efficiency between ASTA and smart modeling. So we can summarize H0 with this equation. ASTA is equals to smart modeling. And an alternative hypothesis, H1. Uh, there is a significant difference in effectiveness and efficiency between both uh, tools. So independent variables of these experiments are the AGM SPL use case diagram as a prefixed variable, so there is no uh, variance in this, uh, in this variable. And the modeling tools, which is a factor with two treatments, ASTA, and smart modeling. So the dependent variable effectiveness uh, is calculated as the number of corrected model, uh, model, model elements divided by the total of model elements. So it's a, a, a relation and efficiency is a, also a relation is the effectiveness uh, over the time interval in minutes for modeling uh, correct elements. So uh, we define a known probabilistic sampling of, of participants. We use convenience technique as it's very difficult to find uh, experts on SPL available for this kind of experiment. And, they, uh, and, and such participants were students with experiencing in modeling software systems in UML. So uh, we came up with 31 participants attend the experiment, and we chose a one by two independent factorial experimental design for treatments, as they, they have no relationships 
between the um, uh, independent variables. So you analyze uh, efficiency uh, for ASTA and smart modeling. Uh, we first analyze the distribution of the results of data collected from uh, participants at modeling the use case uh, model from the arcade game maker. So um, we had for ASTA sample is considered normal as, uh, as we got a p-value of 0 0.63 which is greater than 0 0.05 and for the smart modeling we had uh, a sample, a sample uh, distributed as a non-normal distribution with p-value of 0 0.005274 which is less than 0 0.05 uh, by analyzing this uh, box plot, we can see here um, the box plot for ASTA and the box plot for smart modeling. And we can see that there is uh, a difference uh, between means, oh, sorry, mediums. And this difference is uh, an evidence of there is uh, a difference uh, between modeling. Uh, use case diagrams and the efficiency of modeling use case diagrams with ASTA and with smart modeling. So uh, to verify uh, the effectiveness of modeling using ASTA and smart modeling, uh, we have ASTA as a non-normal distribution and we have smart modeling with a non-normal distribution. So again, if we, if we if we compare the two mediums of the box plots, we can see there's uh, a little difference between them. So uh, to make sure this difference and trying to reject the new hypothesis of both efficiency and effectiveness, uh, we chose uh, the wilcoxon man whitney hypothesis test as um, as smart modeling and ASTA had uh, no normal distributions, except, except ASTA has had one uh, normal distribution. So for efficiency, applying the hypothesis test, testing, we obtain a W uh, equals to 736 and a p-value 0 0.0003284, thus uh, the p-value is less than 0 0.05 and this suggests the rejection of a new hypothesis. What it means? It means there is a statistical difference in efficiency using ASTA or smart modeling. So really there is uh, this difference. But which one is better? Uh, if we get back to the box plots, we can see that ASTA had at least 50% of the observed values uh, greater than the smart modeling. So ASTA is more efficient, efficient for modeling use case diagrams than smart modeling. And for effectiveness, we obtain a W371.5 and p-value uh, 0.1117. Thus, uh, this suggests not rejecting the new hypothesis. It means there is no statistical difference using, if, using ASTA or modeling in the effectiveness of the modeling. If we get back to the box plots, we can see that as we can have this uh, little difference between mediums and uh, this difference is not enough to reject, reject the new hypothesis according to the Wilcoxon man with the hypothesis testing. Um, also, uh, 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 yet uh, regarding results, effectiveness was closely related to the number of correct elements. And regarding the number of corrected model elements, smart modeling presents better results. Uh, even with there is no statistical um, 
a difference, we can see that smart modeling is more effective than ASTA as 50% of the observed values are greater uh, from modeling are greater uh, than ASTA values. Regarding time spent for modeling elements, smart modeling takes longer than ASTA. That's because ASTA is more efficient. Uh, these facts evidence the need for smart modeling to have a more intuitive and functional interface. So this is what we got from the results. Uh, we've deep in analyzed the, the results of both studies. Uh, we came up with this, the following improvements. Uh, in the modeling panel of smart modeling, we need to create elements and associations directly on the panel. This was made using a dialogue screen. So uh, we need to um, op optimize this, creating these elements direct on the panel. We, need, we no also need zoom resizing modeling panel and selecting and dragging dropping elements more intuitive. Uh, the regarding variability, uh, we have to hide UML nodes specifically for variability as it made it makes some uh, pollution to the diagram and improve import and export uh, functionalities by organizing information in a hierarchical tag file, for example. So uh, to conclude this presentation, um, we analyze the feasibility of smart modeling uh, with two studies, one qualitative and one quantitative, in the form of a formal experiment. In the qualitative study, uh, we identified major points for improvement and established hypotheses for a formal experiment. In the experiment, uh, we, analyzed, we analyzed efficiency and effectiveness of smart modeling in ASTA, and we could corrob corroborate certain preliminary results from the qualitative studies. So smart modeling offers uh, support for SPL modeling and derivative products, but further research and development will help to improve it. So new experiments and replications should be performed. Well, well thanks a lot for uh, coming up. And I'm open to questions. Thank you.